Community Matters tonight. You may have heard Rutland County has rolled out the red carpet, but no Hollywood event here. Very different kind, as Local 22's Torrance Gosher shows us. The Rutland Red Carpet is a free concierge service to try to encourage people to move to the area. Earlier this month, the red carpet was officially rolled out, welcoming you to move to Rutland County. Think of it as a full-service concierge helping anyone who wants to call Rutland County home. Oh, you know, you're thinking about moving here? Well, we can, you know, show you guys around, introduce you to some people, and they did. Meet the Fagans, Darian and Tom, both from central New Jersey. Two years ago, the couple was driving north along Route 7, searching for a place to drop roots. Decided to stop at the Main Street Park because we saw something was going on. We didn't know what. It was Winterfest and the pair happened to bump into members of the Rutland Regional Chamber of Commerce, including Steve Costello. We started a conversation about uh, Rutland and what it could offer, and we offered them some ideas, um, some people to contact. Costello didn't know it at the time, but their interaction would be the start of the Real Rutland campaign. Help them make contacts with people for jobs, for housing, for just learning about the community. He hopes this program will help reverse the declining population. Between April of 2010 and July of 2017, the U.S. Census recorded a population decline in Rutland County to the tune of 4.2 percent. We really have um, a shortage of workers because the population is aging, people are retiring. A perfect fit for Darian Fagan, who is an occupational therapist. It was kind of like Steve had like a light bulb moment when he heard I was an OT. Um, so that was a huge draw. The couple recently bought a home in West Rutland and they're here for the long haul. It changed our lives and it's really the truth. Torrance Gosher, Local 22 News, Rutland. Now the Fagans also say if they hadn't bumped into Steve Costello that day, they might never have moved to Vermont. They say they love living in the Green Mountain State.